It's time for the pinnacle, the zenith, the very best. These are the top 10 plays from a nine game night in the NBA. We start you out in Indiana. Remember, Darren Collison used to back up Chris Paul. Now he's stealing the ball from Chris Paul over to Danny Granger for the throwdown. Collison outscored Chris Paul on the night and his Pacers outscored the Hornets. They won it by one at the buzzer. Danny Granger makes it into the top 10 with the slam dunk. Moving along now, number nine, Nick Young has been blowing up of late. Just slaloming through the defense there. Goes in for the slam dunk in Washington against the Charlotte Bobcats. Moving along now, number eight in Atlanta, Al Horford. Power move. He's a power broker for the Hawks. 24 points, 11 boards. That's another double-double for Al Horford. Let's move out west for number seven, a name you may not be familiar with. It's F.A. Udo on the rebound jam off the Monte Ellis miss, but was Udo done? No, he wasn't. How about a little you don't rejection on the other end? F.A. Udo full service on the top 10. Time for number six and at six back to Atlanta. The Hawks playing some defense. Who blocks Dwight Howard? How about his old AAU teammate Josh Smith going up and throwing that one back in his home in Atlanta. Number five now and at five, we're in San Antonio and look at the defense from Big Hakeem Wart throwing back the shot of the defending Western Conference Player of the Week, Tony Parker. So defense gets into the top five. Number four now out in Portland, LaMarcus Aldridge with the stuff. He had a career high 19 boards on the night, but this power move gets him in at number four. Time four. Number three, we are in Miami where the Dallas Mavericks are breaking up streaks. And how are they doing it? Well, just running out and in one motion, Jason Kidd helping Sean Marion with the behind the back cast to the Matrix for the jam. Dallas gets the wind and they land at number four. Three. Number two now, and well, who is this? Of course, it's Blake Griffin flying through the air, Baron to Blake. What a combo in LA. Blake Griffin, you can't see it enough. He's flying higher than anyone in the league right now. But number one, this was the game winner. They win it by one. Who does it? Well, Mike Dunleavy, only eight points on the night, but that little touch, that little tip lands him at number one on the NBA.com. Top 10, Mike Dunleavy and the Pacers get the win. Yes, Mike Dunleavy got it. It's the high five on a Tuesday night. These are the best plays from a six game Tuesday in the association, starting at number five. A little bit of history outside. He's not even 32 years old yet. Dirk Nowitzki with the three passes Larry Bird for 25th on the all time scoring list. Number four now and slick passing from Lamar Odom inside to Ron Artest in the house that Magic Johnson used to play in. Moving along now, number three, and at three, we are in Memphis. This is Brooke Lopez with the one-handed punch right over Hashim to beat, and the Nets get the win down in Memphis. Number two takes us out west, Sacramento, Golden State. Monte Ellis doesn't even need to look at the basket anymore. He follows up a 44-point performance with 36 in a win against Sacramento, in overtime, Golden State landed at number two on the top five. And hey, how about it? Number one as well. This put him in overtime. Vlad Rodmanovic outside at the buzzer. Golden State down three. No, we'll play five more. Rodmanovic and the Warriors at one and two on the top five. Ten primo plays on a Wednesday night, nine games of action. These are the ten best on NBA.com. We start you off in green. Marquise Daniels going up top to the conductor who brings that one home. Big Shaq playing well in green, five of eight from the field. He lands at number 10 at number nine. We're in Toronto, and that's DeMar DeRozan with the jam. DeRozan flying through, no piston get in the way of that. At number eight, we go defense at MSG. Jeff Green not feeling so good after that rejection from Ronnie Turia. 
at number seven, the Utah Jazz on the road in Minnesota. And Paul Millsap doing his best Michael Jordan impression there. Driving baseline, a little lean, not much of a lean, a little lean though, and that lands him at number seven. Number six, a little guard for the Atlanta Hawks named Jeff T. Throwing it down on the break. The second year kid out of Wake Forest, introing himself to the top 10. On to number five and more defense, Derrick Rose getting rejected by JaVale McGee. That was just too easy, low hanging fruit for McGee on this play. He had three blocks on the night. What's he do when he blocks the ball? He gives you a little T.O. He signs the ball right there for you. Moving along, number four, it's Eric Bledsoe, the rookie. Watch, he misses the shot, then he gets the loose ball. He knows his guy's behind, throws it right to DeAndre Jordan. No look style in the house that Magic used to play in. And DeAndre Jordan goes up and throws it down with some authority. Moving along now, Paul Pierce gets the steal from Lou Williams. Okay, so already he's upset Lou Williams. And then on the break, just crushes it right on Lou Williams' head. Pierce end-to-end -end action, defense and offense gets him in at number three. Get out of the way, Lou Williams. Moving along, number two now. It's Randy Foy throwing an alley. Now the Clippers are playing, they're on the break. Blake Griffin's involved. You know it's Blake Griffin throwing this thing down. We can't have a top 10 without Blake Griffin involved. He could have literally bit the rim on this play if he don't want it to. Blake Griffin flying high. Who dares to beat Blake Griffin? Well, his name is J.R. Smith. Spin cycle on this one. 360 layup, check the video. Degree of difficulty through the roof, as is J.R. Smith landing at number one on the top 10. Five more plays before Christmas. This is the top five on NBA.com. Starting off with number five down in Orlando, the Magic on the run and Hidu Turkaloo bullet pass. Jay Rich in self-defense catches it and tosses it up in one motion for the lab. Keep in mind they were teammates in Phoenix so they know each other's game and they're doing it down in Orlando again. Magic big win over the San Antonio Spurs tonight. Aubrey Caspi in Sacramento gets rejected by Andrew Bogut, the league leader in that category. Clean all pumpkin on that block. Number three now, and at number three, we're in Phoenix. LeBron James with the steal, and LeBron James cleared for takeoff. He throws that one down. He's been dunking it that way since his high school days in Akron, LeBron James at number three on the NBA.com top five. Moving along now, number two, Pooh Jetter with the dish. Omri Caspi, there's no Andrew Bogut there. He can finish that one off inside. Easy, beautiful delivery from Jetter and Caspi with the jam at number two on the NBA.com top five. But at number one, LeBron James on this play just before the half, looking like Iron Man, just crushing that one right through the defense. Channing Fry tries to put two hands on him right there. Doesn't stop LeBron at all. The freight train right through Channing Fry. LeBron James at one, at three. He's dominating again on the top five on NBA.com. From NBA.com to you, it's 10 Christmas presents wrapped in our oh-so-fancy graphics package. So sit back and enjoy. Starting off at number 10, this is D-Wade with the slalom slam. Skiing right through the Lakers' defense. D-Wade and company getting it done in L.A. Wade had 18 points on the day. At number 9, not so much the season of giving in Orlando. If you're Dwight Howard tracking down Paul Pierce, and getting the big rejection, one of five blocks on the day for the big man in the middle in Orlando. At number eight, step into the mind of Phil Jackson. This a design play off the opening tip. Lamar Odom over to Kobe Bryant, cut back door, throw it up and throw it down. Kobe Bryant had seven assists. Lamar Odom had 14 points. Nice connection on that play. At number seven, Magic Johnson, you know, he perfected the no-look pass. But how about the no-look shot from Monte Ellis? Just flipping it up over the back of his head. Know where the basket is. That's Monte Ellis getting it done at number seven. On to number six, back at the garden. Amari Stoudemire misses, but what does he do? He hustles back on defense and gets the block on Derrick Rose, chasing down the point guard. You don't go into the house of Amari like that. 
Number five, Monte Ellis. Once again, this is quickness, and this is a Christmas crank right down the middle of the Portland Trailblazers defense. Ellis so fast to the hole and brings that one home in style. Moving on, number four, it's another field day in New York or a Landry Fields day. The rookie, another double-double, gets this one off the free throw rebound stat there. Two points and the foul for Landry Fields. At number three, watch the center from the Denver Nuggets. This is Nene, he gets the rebound, then just dribbles through traffic right past the point guard for Oklahoma City, then spikes it on the D, full service from Nene, bringing it home at number three on the top 10. On to number two, this a duet, a duo from Derek Rose. Look at the shake on Amari Stoudemire, sending him out to the three-point line. Then a nice little reverse layup. He had 25 points on the day. How about spin cycle on Raymond Felton as well? Derek Rose getting it done for the Bulls. But at number one, it's a Christmas bash from Chris Bosh, bringing it back southpaw style and cranking it home for the Heat in Los Angeles. It was the most anticipated game of the year, the Christmas Day matchup between the Heat and the Lakers, and the Heat get it done in style. Chris Bosh, number one in the top 10. One day after Christmas, but it's still the season of giving around here at NBA.com. Like 10 plays, the 10 best in fact. We call it the top 10. At number 10, Atlanta's Josh Smith getting defensive on David West, his only block of the game, but it was a good one protecting the rim for Atlanta. Moving along now, number nine, and at nine, it's the rookie for the Clippers. Yes, Blake Griffin, perhaps you've seen him on the top 10 before. A little southpaw spike to warm you up. Don't worry, Blake will be back. Moving along now, number eight, we head to Indiana where the Memphis Grizzlies were in town and Rudy Gay likes to play the passing lanes. A little rip and run here. How about cocking it back and throwing it down? Rudy Gay, a game high. 30 points for the Grizzlies in the win. Number seven now, back to New Orleans, and it's the bench mob, the Bayou bench mob, Jarrett Jack inside to Quincy Pondexter for the easy little lay, and that's a fancy pass behind the back from Jarrett Jack. Number six, back to Staples Center. This time, a little defense from Eric Gordon, game winding down, and this was decisive. Look at the other end, Baron Davis to Al Farouk Aminu, another rookie for the Clippers, getting in the top 10. We'll preview you once again, Al Farouk Aminu back in the top 10 in just a few moments. We're in the top five now. Number five takes us to San Antonio. This is John Wall back after missing five games, and he's doing what he always does. Behind the back, just before the halftime buzzer for the easy land, he is too quick for any one man to guard. Back to Motown for number four, and a little proof that Fast is a lover of non-fiction. In other words, Fast don't lie. Derrick Rose in the end action for the layup. Rose, terrific for the Bulls who go into Detroit and get the victory in overtime. Top three now at three, back to Clipperland. This again, the rookie, not Blake Griffin, Al Farouk Aminu bringing the house down. He had nine points for the Clippers who did get the win today. Number two, at number two, it's back to Detroit. Look at the persistence from the Pistons. Tracy McGrady misses. Keep in mind, they're down two, time running out. So Rodney Stuckey traps it down. Rodney Stuckey with the cross-court pass. Richard Hamilton, well, he misses. They get it back to Hamilton. He misses again, but Charlie Villanueva finally tips it in, and this sends the game into overtime. Terrific stuff from the Pistons. But at number one, we know who it's going to be. Of course, Blake Griffin spinning, flying, and throwing it down. He's the poster boy. Marcin Gortat goes up to get it, but it's Marcin Gortat. Don't go up with Blake Griffin because he's bringing the house down. Once again, Blake Griffin, number one on the NBA.com top ten.